I travel a lot and I take my Chromecast everywhere I go. It lives in my backpack. But as I've learned over years of travel, getting a Chromecast connected to a hotel TV often involves challenges. I've faced them all. So I'm gonna help you get it done right now so you can watch whatever you want on your hotel TV. Welcome back everyone, I'm Caleb Dennison, and if you're watching this video right now, there's a pretty good chance you are in your hotel right now with your Chromecast and you're having trouble getting it working on your hotel TV. If that's the case and you wanna get right into the instructions, there's a time code link down in the description that lets you skip straight to the part you need. Quick disclosure, we did not shoot this video in a hotel, so we mocked up some of these shots as illustrations. I just didn't feel like asking the hotel across the street if we could rent by the hour, I mean, yeah, no. Oh, and hey, if this is your first time seeing one of my videos, hit me with a like and subscribe if you find it helpful, and post a comment if I missed any tricks that have worked for you in the past. First off, I'd like to suggest that you get a longer USB-C power cable for your Chromecast. It's possible the hotel TV or the little connection bay next to the TV has a USB port, but it's also likely that USB port doesn't have enough power to juice up your Chromecast. You're almost always better plugging into the wall with the little wall ward it comes with. However, it's also likely that a reachable power outlet is not within this distance from the TV. So a longer power cable means you can plug into a wall socket well away from the TV if you have to. It's a nice bit of insurance. Now, hopefully you're about to find an HDMI port easily, tune into that HDMI port on the TV pretty easily, and then connect the Chromecast to Wi-Fi easily, and you'll be streaming very soon. But if it was always that easy, then you probably wouldn't be here. So follow along, I'm gonna get you past almost any hurdle. First, we need to get the Chromecast plugged into an HDMI port. Look at the sides and back of your TV. It probably has HDMI ports, hopefully more than one. Plug into one of those HDMI ports. Now, if you don't see any available HDMI ports back there, it's possible there's like a little connection base strip maybe in the desk or the table that's next to the TV, so check for that too. Now, if there is only one HDMI port, there is probably already an HDMI cable in it. That's the hotel's little cable converter box, and that's how you get the hotel's TV programming. Now, if that's the only HDMI port available, you can use it, but you're gonna lose hotel TV until you plug that HDMI HDMI cable back in. If that's not the only HDMI port, yay! Use one of the other ones and make note of whether it's HDMI 2 or HDMI 3. You'll need that in a second. Now while you're back there, if you see an ethernet cable, take note of it because you might need to unplug it too, but we'll get to that in a second as well. Now that your Chromecast is plugged into an HDMI port, we need to switch the TV to that input. If we're lucky, there will be an input button on the remote and you can just press it until the TV's display says HDMI 2 or whatever HDMI number it was you saw when you plugged the cable in. Hope you remember, but if you don't, just go back and look. If there is no input button on the remote, we can try a few more things with the remote. Press the menu button. If that pulls up the TV's menu system, not the hotel's menu, but the TV's menu, then you should be able to navigate to one of the HDMI ports from there. If the menu button pulls up the hotel menu, like where you can order food or pay-per-view, that's not gonna help us. This is where we start to get a little bit deeper, okay? Start pressing other buttons on the remote that aren't clearly labeled, like don't bother with the numbers or the play pause button. Press buttons that don't make much sense, like a button with an asterisk or a button with three horizontal lines or something. You will be amazed at how often I've been able to get into a hidden TV menu just by spamming the remote. And if none of that works, we're gonna put the remote down. It's time to go back to the TV. Somewhere on the TV itself are some buttons, maybe only one button, but I promise you that there are buttons on that TV. I haven't met a TV that didn't have at least one physical button on it. Now again, if we're lucky, there's an input button and you can press that to get to HDMI 2 or whatever number. If not, you may need to press the menu button and then work from there. And if there's only one button, Press it. Now, you might have a couple of potentially frustrating minutes ahead of you, but eventually you'll figure out how to weave in and back out of menu items, and you'll probably find the input selection and finally pick HDMI whatever so you can see your Chromecast. Now, if all of this fails you and you just can't find HDMI inputs on the TV, it's possible they've been locked out. Remember that ethernet cable you noticed earlier? Unplug it and then try again. Usually, unplugging that ethernet cable will lift the lockout. Just remember to plug it back in before you leave. Or, you know, if you wanna watch hotel TV again, you like to watch old school forensic files, don't you? 
I see you. Okay, at this point, if you can see your Chromecast's start screen, we can finally proceed. The next step is to get internet access. Now, I'd like to assume that since you have a Chromecast, you have the Google Home app, but if you don't, Download it now. You will need the Google Home app to set up the Chromecast's Wi-Fi access. Now, some hotels have easy internet access, right? They'll give you the name of the Wi-Fi and a password for it. And all you have to do is put that into the Google Home app for the Chromecast and boom, you're connected. Sometimes though, hotels use a captive internet portal where you have to put in credentials through a web page. Now, if you have a newer Chromecast with Google TV, that's no problem. You'll zip right through things and be streaming in no time. However, if you're using an older basic Chromecast, well then A, buy a Chromecast with Google TV ASAP. It's so worth it. But B, I can help you with that right now too. So for me, the easiest way to give any Chromecast internet access is to set up a phone as a mobile internet hotspot. Just keep in mind that depending on your phone carrier and plan, sometimes mobile hotspot speeds can be slow. And even if they are fast, you probably have a data cap before getting throttled. This should be okay, just don't stream a ton for your entire trip. And honestly, you should get out more. If you don't wanna use your phone as a hotspot, you can use a Windows laptop and create a Windows 10 hotspot. To do this, connect the laptop to your hotel's Wi-Fi and make sure you're all logged in. Once your laptop is connected, do the following. Click Start, then select Settings, and then select Network and Internet. Select Mobile Hotspot from the left-hand pane. Click the selector to turn Share My Internet Connection with Other Devices to on. Then ensure Share My Internet Connection From is set to Wi-Fi, and then make sure Share My Internet Connection Over is set to Wi-Fi as well. Record the network name and network password that's displayed at the bottom of the window, and then use that info for logging in your Chromecast. Now, if you're a Mac user, you can set up your MacBook as a mobile hotspot, but you have to be connected to the hotel's wired ethernet internet to do it, if that's even available. If it is available to you, go ahead and connect your MacBook to wired internet, and then do the following. Click the Apple menu, go to System Preferences, select the sharing icon, then internet sharing. Under the share your connection from box, select ethernet. Then under the two computers using section, select Wi-Fi. Then in the lower right, you need to click on Wi-Fi options. Enter a network name and a password that you can use. And then once that's done, your hotspot should be up and running and you can use the network name and password you just entered to connect your Chromecast. And that's it. Hopefully you're up and streaming now. Now every hotel is different. So since you'll probably be doing this again at another hotel with different challenges, might I suggest you save or bookmark this video and come back when you need it. Thanks as always for watching everyone. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video with your friends. And while you're here, here's two other videos I think you might like.